In this video, we're going to talk about how to use bins. <laughs> Here we are for another Tableau video and I'm very excited to, you know, still be making these videos after so long. So I just want to say thanks to everyone who keeps kind of tuning in and watching. For those of you who are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get alerts when I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So let's begin. So we're going to start where we always start, which is the data set. So what I have here is a data set of just some people's names, some random names that I found right completely made up right and if your name happens to be in here it's just it's just a wild coincidence all right it's just a coincidence um, and then we have some values and basically what i want to do is for this like i don't know 900 800 rows of data is we're going to apply what's called a bin now if you've never heard what a bin is i'm going to show you so let's close this up save that and let's load up the data set also if you want to follow along with this uh, tutorial the data set is available in the description below so let's bring that in. Okay, and let's go straight into sheet one. Okay, so what is a bin, right? So you've, you've probably watched some of my videos before, but let's make this a bit of a refresher and kind of why we do bins. Sometimes it's like people just do it, but they don't really know why they're doing it. They just do it. So let's say I have my customers and I bring them in and it's a very long list, okay? And I'm gonna bring the quantity in like so. And you can still see it's a very long list. Now, maybe I can sort this. Let's say I go highest to lowest using this button right here. All right, and I'm gonna add the label in. As, let's say, a manager or someone that you're trying to communicate information to, this isn't very helpful. Number one, I have to scroll, and it doesn't really give me an overall view of what the data looks like. So it's hard for you to say, like, well, a majority of, you know, 80% of our user base have a quantity of this much, right? So you can't kind of get the kind of the sound bite of what is the data actually telling you. So bins come in really handy. So let's do it artificially so you can see. Um, all right, so let's say I wanted to group these. I wanna go, okay, um, uh, uh, let's go highest to lowest actually, or uh, lowest to highest. Let's say I wanted to group these and I wanna group at every 10 people. So I wanna be able to say how many people have a quantity between 0 and 10. Well, it's going to be these ones. And then I want to get a count. And then I'm going to do the next one. So between 10 and 20, 20 and 30, and so on. And that's going to take a long time for a big data set. So what we can do instead is here in the um, quantity field, we can create a bin. So I can right click here, create, and go bins. In here, I can say, well, how big is my bin or my bucket? I can just say 10, like we did before. Uh, like we said before and go okay what that's going to do is create a new field now what i do when i was first learning this i was like how do i actually use that thing so here's how i do it once you have the bin you no longer need this quantity because you got to kind of think that that is embedded in there it's already inside so start by getting rid of that like so the next thing we want to do is we're also not interested in individual names. What we're interested in is individual uh, the number of customers, right? So we can change this one from dimension to a measure with count to so go OK. And we should just end up with a single number. And then we can bring this quantity bin in. And what that's going to do is it's going to drop those 793 in their respective buckets like so. So now what I can actually say is, wow, a majority of our user base have a quantity of uh, between, you know, what's that? So this is 0 to 10. So this is 20 to 30. And this is 50 to 60. Right? So they're all, a majority of them are between 20 and 60, I would say, right? It's much easier to tell that from this kind of view. And this is actually called a histogram. And I remember being told once that a histogram they should all be touching right it's a statistics statistics thing apparently so yeah if you want to do that so that's how you use your bins now the question i got from a student um and i couldn't find the um the message in some of the comments and stuff like that but the question was can i do bins on a function right something that's been calculated the quantity field itself here is part of the raw data set so let's Let's do it, right? So I'm going to do a new sheet. 
I'm going to go create calculated field. And I'm going to calculate off this quantity. So we're just going to say quantity manipulated. Now you can do whatever you want to this field so long as the final result is a number. 20 divided by 5, whatever. Okay, and go OK. So now we have this new value. Exact same steps. Right click, create bins. The one difference is going to be this part here. Okay. Now, because you've been manipulated, the values will be different. So the suggested bin size may be different. What I tend to do is I'll just leave it as the suggested one at the beginning and just go OK. So now I've got this uh, quantity manipulated bin. I can bring um, the count of the customer name. I can just right click drag into rows and then go count. So that gives me my 793. And I'm going to bring this quantity bin manipulated into columns. And there you go. It's done. It's another histogram based on a calculated field. Okay. So it's as easy as that. I mean, I love using this, th this thing because it can compress data so well. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps with uh, growing the channel and spreading Tableau and teaching a lot of people about how to get into data. If you want to learn way more about Tableau, I do have courses. It is in the description below for my Udemy course. Soon, I'm going to have my own website with like the newer versions of courses, which is like, I think it's even two or three times larger than the original Udemy course, which has now had, I don't know, 25,000 people or something like that. Yeah, so huge. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.